Hey, Endless Fear people out there. Okay, Tommy L here with his uh, project using the GoPro Hero 2 today. And first of all, I'd like to thank Justin. Thanks so much for making this all possible. Without the uh, Endless Fear forum, uh, we wouldn't be able to learn about all this cool stuff. So thanks again, Justin. Okay, Tommy L here from the forum. This is what we got going on. Last night, I managed to get a front wheel put on with uh, Juicy 3 hydraulics. Uh, with a 185 millimeter uh, rotor on there, uh, nice double walled rim uh, and stuff. So hopefully that's good. This is the Lian uh, controller. This is the uh, 18 FAT 4115 high voltage. And as you can see, it looks like a freaking Christmas tree right now. And for a wheel on the back, this is the Methods uh, 9C2810. And all hooked up to this backpack back here, which I've got uh, 40S uh, Life PO4 uh, on me. And as you can see, I got full riding gear uh, today because we're expecting to see uh, maybe some speeds upwards to 80 kilometers an hour. We're going to find out for sure. And uh, we've got riding gloves, full gear on, so you never know what happens. So anyways, we're going to uh, energize the system here. All right, system's energized, 133.7 volts. So uh, we're going to see uh, what this happens to do. Okay, so here we go for a ride. Okay, right now we got it in uh, three, three speed switches on, on low. So three speed switch on low, doing about uh, 26 kilometers an hour. We'll flip it over to medium. Whoa. Yeah. Touchy. Regen seems to be working. It is. All right, here we go. We're only on level uh, level two. Level two throttles really touchy. Really touchy on level two, and uh, no problem doing speeds around 50k. We'll hit level three. See what happens here. Wow, boy. Easily 4,000 watts. Going up a hill, easily hit 60 kilometers an hour. I'm just going to slow down so I don't pull too many watts at one time here. Going about 50 kilometers an hour, 15, 1800 watts.
probably stop here at the corner, uh, give the controller a feel, give the motor a feel, see how she's doing. The Juicy 3 brakes seem to be working quite well. controller well slightly above ambient I would say feels feels slightly above ambient motor motors nice and cool so definitely no problems there and uh, so just a very short run it was recommended that you do just a short run first. That regen is definitely a must because it's going down to 30 kilometers an hour extremely fast, which is good. Okay, Tommy L here with the GoPro 2, or the GoPro Hero 2. Love this thing. It's awesome. Okay, so this is what we got for some stats here. Uh, we managed to um, uh, get a maximum speed of 70.7 .7 kilometers an hour. Uh, and um, we just flipped through here. Uh, got 131 volts left. And we used about 4 amp hour. So I'm using a heck of a lot more amp hour because uh, you're pulling away much quicker. Uh, I wasn't wide open throttle the whole way uh, and stuff. I used 510 uh, watt hours uh, and stuff. 36 kilometer watt hours a kilometer. Usually I'm down to 20, 26, uh, you know, keeping it down to about 50k, but uh, keeping it at wide open throttle and doing 60 to 70k the whole way, man, it seems like you use half again as much uh, energy. Now, that's if uh, the cycle analyst is all set up uh, properly. Uh, i got to talk to Lean again with uh, reference to uh, the shunt um, and uh, to see if I have to half that value or something like that. So something might not be correct here. So not quite sure yet. Uh, you know, always learning. Regen worked. 2.7% regen. 
So there's the forward amp hours, which was uh, 4.1, and regen was like uh, 0.1. So, you know, not quite 3%. Uh, it does haul you down. When you're doing about 60, 70 kilometers an hour, you push that button, it hauls you down to 30K, and then it starts backing off, and you better have some other brakes available. And uh, this is why I'm quite happy with the fact that we've got um, this here uh, Avid uh, Juicy 3. It's a single lever pull. I'm going to also put... Um, uh, on the rear here we're going to also get that juicy three put on but i have to weld up a bracket here to uh, hold the caliper but uh, as you can see the nine continent 2810 is uh, um, uh, rotor ready and we'll get that uh, rotor on there and uh, weld up a uh, bracket uh, accordingly and get everything lined up um, so yeah there's no doubt at these speeds you need extreme braking power uh, the regen is really nice to haul you down quickly, and um, uh, yeah, nothing else I can really say. So the next thing I need to find out is if that shunt value uh, is uh, correct for me to enter that value into the uh, cycle analyst and uh, and stuff. So, anyways, Tommy L here uh, reporting to you guys on the ES forum, uh, and again, thanks, uh, thanks so much uh, uh, for watching. And Justin, obviously, a big thanks to Justin because uh, we, we're not doing this stuff without uh, a lot of the help that's uh, happening out on uh, Endless Sphere. So also, big thanks out to Leon. Leon's been so helpful. Uh, Luke's been uh, super helpful. Y Pedal, Dr. Bass, or Dr. Bass. I don't know how he really quite says that. Uh, and many, many others. John and CR and, uh, and anybody else that I've uh, forgotten. Methods, etc. Everybody's been so great there. So thanks so much, guys. Okay, take care.